I was really excited about the Acolyte when I first heard about it and didn't actually know what it was about. And then the first two episodes came out and I watched those and I was like, yeah, that was a bit rough, but you know, let's give it another another week and see how it goes. So I gave it another week and episode three was just not good. I just did not enjoy it. I don't know if it's on purpose or what, but I feel like they've gotten Jedi lore wrong. In the first episode, she's like, a Jedi never raises her lightsaber unless she's prepared to kill. And like, no, you, like, I think even in this show, they raise it for light. They raise it for a whole bunch of reasons. They turn their lightsaber on all the time when they're not prepared to kill. I've seen them cut off handcuffs. There's so many reasons that they would take out their their lightsaber. A Jedi doesn't pull her weapon unless prepared to kill. Hold on. Back away. Where's May? Step away from the body. Even when actively fighting, I think there are still plenty of times where they are trying to de-escalate the conflict and not trying to kill the other person. And the Jedi just going around looking to tell people they can't train children in the Force feels weird to me. And also, like, they wouldn't take that kid into the Jedi Order because she was so freaking old by the time that they found out she had a Force ability. Not only old, but has a ton of trauma now, which seems like the biggest red flag I've ever seen about bringing someone into the Order. At least Anakin didn't have his whole family murdered in front of him when he was taken into the Order. The Mother Witch says that you can't manipulate the Force, but then immediately manipulates the Force after that. Some call it a Force and claim to use it. But we know the threat is not a power you wield. The power of one. You're looking for someone that killed a Jedi Master, you find her, and then you're like, okay, I'll see you back at Coruscant. I've, you know, I'm going straight there, but I just, I don't want to ride with you. So obviously then, you know, shit happens. Then like the ship crashes and Soul's like, we should go find her. And then the Green Lighter's like, ah, nah, she's probably dead. Like, don't worry about it. You know, I, I need you for kindergarten class because that's definitely more important than finding someone that killed a Jedi Master. Any sign of life on Kalek? The Republic dispatched probe droids to survey the wreckage. I request permission to go to Kalek and bring Osha in myself. It is highly unlikely she survived. She is alive. I can feel it. I'm afraid I cannot afford to lose you to a field mission, Saul. You're far too valuable here. I just, I don't understand that line of, of thought or reasoning. Episode 3 literally didn't even tell us anything new. Everything they told us, we kind of already knew. Actually, we did already know, except for the fact that she was in a coven. But, like, that could have just been one line where she's talking to May, and May's like... You left our coven, and then she's like, oh no, well, you burned it all down or something. Like, they didn't tell us what happened to the witches. I, I assume the Jedi killed them, maybe because of the one young apprentice that got a little trigger happy or something. In fact, everybody in this whole show is trigger happy. They're pulling out lightsabers all the time. I don't know if they're intending to kill someone like they said, but literally almost every scene, someone walks into the room, like, with the Apothecary. Yeah, okay, maybe he might actually secretly be, you know, some dark side user that's super talented. I think that's very likely, but they don't know that. They just think he's a normal Apothecary. And they walk in and immediately take their lightsaber out. Like, is that necessary? I just don't think it is. I mean, I'm going to finish this out, but I mean more in the way of, like, you see a car crash and you just can't help but look away. But I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong on this. Let me know down in the comments. How are you feeling about the Acolyte?